She fell in love with two brothers. One is her first love, the other her best friend. Who will she choose? Welcome to Movie Moments. Tade Kalejaye is an aspiring fashionista and daughter to a wealthy business mogul. She's best friends with Lottie and Cheta, one of the brothers. After swooning her at his party, Tade started dating Chidi, the other brother, secretly keeping it from her best friend Cheta, whom she knew has been in love with her too since high school. But Cheta found out months later and was devastated. He swung by Chidi's place to deliver a message when he saw them together. Tade tried to explain but he wouldn't hear of it. Chidi is an aspiring politician campaigning for a governorship position. His father and cabinet want him to stay single while he runs for office as dating someone who's not rooted in politics might jeopardize his chances. Just when Tade thought he wouldn't care, Chidi returns home and suggests they take a year off until after elections. Tade breaks up with him instantly and focuses on building her fashion brand with Lottie, Dawn by Talo. Five years later, they went as far as hosting a fashion show thanks to her wonderful benefactor, her father, Otumba Kalejaye, owner of Kale Oils. Her brother, Oba, however, believes it was a wasted investment. He's always been a douchebag and never supports her dreams. Other family members are proud of her. She settled things with Cheta as well and became best pals again. Meanwhile, Chidi's campaign was going well until he got involved in a sex scandal, which crippled his chances of emerging winner, which he could have been effortlessly. Luckily, only a few eyes saw the tape, but still the damage was done. On the other hand, the Kalejayas had scheduled an interview with a media firm set to do a profiling on them. Among the press is a lady, Abigail, who seems to have a bone to pick with the high and mighty. Tade arrives a little late and her brother doesn't spare a second to eat her up, but she claps back. The interview immediately goes south as the interviewer asks thought-provoking questions, citing the Kalejayas as corrupt. Their oil dog had a massive oil spill a few years back which affected the lives of people in the Niger Delta but they were able to avoid the consequences due to their connections. They should have stopped operations and their license terminated or suspended but nothing happened. Things get heated up as Oba and Tade sends away the press. Oba blames his wife Shope for the interview since she was the one who put it together. Shope promises to speak to the head of the firm to kill the interview. Amidst the altercations, Tade realizes her family is in debt and in need of a political connection to back their claims. She storms off as Oba keeps speaking to her like a child who cares not for her family. Abigail posts a scoop on the interview as her boss Victoria tries to kill the story as directed by the Kalejayas, but Abigail is persistent and goes off with the suspension. The news spreads like wildfire. The Kalejayas are denied their waiver over their petition in court, plus the banks will not loan them any money and their assets would be seized if they do not pay up pending fees. Tade asks if there's anything she can do to help but her brother keeps undermining her and tells her to let the grown-ups think. She goes to a club to steam off and gets drunk. Cheta takes her to his place and in her drunken state she makes a move on him with a kiss. She wakes up to find herself naked under the sheets and screams. He rushes in and assures her nothing happened. Tade tries to lighten the mood as soon as she remembers she kissed him last night. She gets home to hear her parents talking about how the obiques Cheta and Chidi's family can't help them either due to Chidi's scandal so she rushes over to see Chidi. Turns out Chidi could actually help them get the president's approval on their waiver but even he can't help himself after the scandal. The only thing that could help is if he were married. Tade instantly agrees to be his wife if that will help things blow over, much to his shock. Chidi introduces her to Tanko, special assistant to the president who thinks the plan might work. He advises they announce their engagement, then leak the sex tapes to the media and then Tade will forgive Chidi. If a wife could forgive a cheating husband, the public would too. Although he wonders if it's worth it seeing how Tade can't stand Chidi for one second but Chidi mutters yeah it's worth it. The news doesn't go down with both families but they have no choice. Tanko informs them that the president is ready to work with the petroleum minister to grant the waiver for Kale oil on the basis that the marriage takes place before the elections. The president also has something to gain from all of this, an ally in his state in person of Chidi to deliver him votes to run for a second term in office when the time comes. Cheta walks in and hears the heartbreaking news. Tade explains she's doing it for her family but he wouldn't hear of it. Even Lottie thinks it's 
it's a crazy idea. She shouldn't be sacrificing herself for her family's happiness. But despite the wrinkled faces, they move on with the plan anyway. Abigail is given a chance to interview the couple after the sex tape is leaked. She hoped to rope them out but they had a pretty strong cover story. Still, she had her reservations. She's been after the Kalejayas because her grandfather was killed by criminals who invaded their community over the oil spill on Kale oil block. Nothing was done to compensate their losses, hence her pain. Jetta pays Tade a visit to apologize for his outburst. The two make up in no time and in the heat of the moment, they kiss again. Things begin to seem too real and scary. Tade can't believe she's actually going through with it. Meanwhile, Chidi seeks Jetta's help to make Tade happy. It may be an arranged marriage but he wants her to be happy. The family is to host the wedding in two weeks time. Tade hearing this gets cold feet and stops pretending she can handle the situation. It gets worse when Chidi informs her she will have to drop out of a fashion competition she and Lottie signed up for. She painstakingly sends an email withdrawing from the contest. The next day, they move to a different city where the marriage would hold to show up together so their union can be believable. But just outside the mansion where they arrive is Abigail, the meddling reporter, who happens to get a video of Tade shoving away Chidi's hands from her. The news circles the net and Oba gets furious with Tade, warning her to take things seriously. Lottie finds out Tade pulled out of the competition and confronts her, her argument being it was their choice to make, not hers alone. Lottie also tries talking some sense into Cheta to pursue the woman he loves for once. Taking Lottie's advice, Cheta goes to have a drink with Tade. They almost kiss when Chidi interrupts, asking for some alone time with his woman. Chidi instantly cracks Tade up with his quirky pickup lines. He takes her out to a local bar where he serenades her with some music. They both have a good time and kiss at the end. Tade returns back to chat with Lottie about almost kissing Cheta only to kiss Chidi afterwards. Lottie finds her very selfish for always thinking about her. It's always been about Tade. After a little argument, they make up and have a good laugh at Tade's kissing scenes. The next day, Abigail presents documents showing the illegal approval of the waiver for Kale oil. The news puts all their plans in jeopardy. Oba hears the news and confronts Tade believing she leaked the documents to sabotage them after developing cold feet, while Chidi attacks his brother believing he did it out of jealousy. Everyone tries to separate them as Tade reveals Chidi had no idea such documents ever existed, so Tade could only think of one person who could have done it, Lottie. She claims she overheard Oba's conversation with his wife and took the documents from his phone, so it was actually due to Oba's carelessness. Lottie explains she did it because Tade told her if she had thought for a few more minutes, she would back off and let her family rot. They're all so disappointed in Lottie but she believes she made the right choice anyway. Meanwhile, Abigail is celebrated at work for a job well done, although their firm got blacklisted by the government. The Kalejayas finally lose their oil block to the government but Tade still has to marry Chidi or the family will forfeit the $10 million compensation by the presidency. Plus, the public will know it was all a sham from the get-go. Tade, however, protests against it. Meanwhile, Cheta decides to move away but before going, Chidi says he was never man enough enough for Tade. Shope confronts Oba urging him to stand up for his sister instead of being selfish. It's the day of the wedding. Tade's mom tries to cheer her up. Later on during the ceremony, Chidi takes the mic and announces he can't go on with the marriage. Tade is shocked but relieved. That night, Oba thanks Tade for all she's done for the family. After confirming they would still get the compensation fee from the president regardless, Tade is shocked he even thanked her. She visits Lottie and tells her she has a design for the competition. Too bad she always already dropped out, but to her surprise, Lottie ensured their slot was secured. Tade also shares how she's still in love with both Chidi and Cheta and can't seem to decide. So Lottie opens up that it was Chidi who fought to get their slots back into the competition. She's so pleased at the news but can't help but miss Cheta. Meanwhile, Chidi is still willing to contest in the elections, although his father thinks it's a waste of time. Then in comes Tade who is willing to support him all the way. Seems she finally made her choice. Cheta comes back after a long while and has no choice but to make peace with Tade, not like she gave him an option, friendship or nothing. The movie signs out with Tade and Lottie winning the competition and I guess she and Chidi lived happy ever after. The end. Please like the video and subscribe to support the channel. Tune in for more movie moments.